welcome back to another Monday, another grocery haul. So all of this here is from HEB and I spent $197.41. So this week we are actually doing something different. I do have a Pinterest board of recipes to try that I found that I want to give a try and then I also have another board of like recipes that we have tried that we like and we will probably make again. So I'll link those down below if you guys want to check them out but I had a ton of salads on my Pinterest board to try. So I was like you know what we're going to do a week of trying out salads. So that's kind of my inspiration for this week just summer salads. Um, and you know, all, that's why there's so many fresh things here. <laughs> and that's why the bill is a little bit higher than normal because we're eating um, a lot more fresh foods than normal, um, which is never a bad thing, but just for your bank account if you can't afford it. Also, we are trying out a water recipe. Um, so you're gonna see like we have a lot of cucumbers, a lot of lemons over here, um, and some other items that we haven't, we, we wouldn't necessarily pick up this many of just for one week, but my husband found this water recipe and he really wants to try it. So I'll leave that link down below. So let's go ahead and get into the items that I have here and then I will share with you our meal plan. Okay, back here, this was a total impulse buy. I was actually going up and down, I went up and down the freezer aisles twice looking for these dang meatballs and my husband ended up finding them. Um, but I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I used to make um, this kind of bread when Paige, my oldest, who is almost 13, was really little. I made it a couple times um, fresh and it was so good. And I think I lost the recipe or something because I haven't made it in years. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get that and try it because I love this kind of bread. So I picked that up. Um, then we have two packages of frozen pork chops, two packages of frozen chicken tenders. Now obviously these were fresh when I bought them, but I actually did my shopping yesterday and I wasn't able to make the video. We were in a rush, so I just pulled them out of the freezer. That's why they're frozen, <laughs> but they were fresh. Um, this, we are not really having french fries this week, but it was buy one bag, get one free. It's summertime, I have little kids, they love french fries, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up now. So I do have the golden crinkles, and then the steak fries. We've got some grilled, and grilled cheese, that is not grilled cheese. We've got some Texas toast, like cheese garlic bread, deli turkey meat, We've got some turkey hot dogs, some beef brats, six corn on the cob, some hush puppies. Then we have three bags of this Alaska Pacific cod. Um, I wish it would tell me exactly, like it says two to three individual portions. So we have six people in our family, we need six pieces of fish. <laughs> so we got three bags just to be safe in case there's only two in each of these. If there's three in each of these, well then we'll have some extra fish for another meal. There's the frozen meatballs that I already showed you. We've got our typical two gallons of milk and one thing of orange juice every week that we pick up. Some baby spinach. There's seven, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, seven cucumbers here. Two bunches of green onions, some romaine lettuce. Um, I pick this up almost every week now. The kids really love it. I have four kids, so this is perfect. They have one every week. Um, it's the yolk crunch with M&Ms. And then I saw, I don't know if this is new, but I've never seen it before at our HEB. This is the yolk crunch with Chips Ahoy. So I picked this one up also for the kids to try. If they don't have it this week, then they'll have it next week and I won't pick up one of those. Some smoked provolone. Um, I had a coupon for this, so I picked it up for my husband because he really likes these just easy pre-made snack packs. It's the Ready Egg Go. It's got 18 grams of protein in it. It's just a hard-boiled egg with cashews and Gouda cheese. Then I picked these up because I have seen a few people that I watch on YouTube. Um, they rave about this water, and I love mineral water, I love flavored water, I love trying, you know, just water. That's what I drink all day long, and then, you know, occasionally I'll have a soda or something, but I live for water. Um, so I really wanted to try these out. They're kind of on the pricey side, they're just under $2 each, so I only picked up two. They had about five different flavors. 
So I picked up the strawberry kiwi and the watermelon hint flavored water. Then behind these, we've got our favorite wine. The, uh, I'm not even sure how to say that, but it's a Moscata Diasti. Um, we really, really love it. If you love sweet wine, more like a fruit punch, uh, you'll love that, it's really good. Um, then we've got some organic strawberries here. They smell really good, so sweet. Two packages of some broccoli slaw. We're only having it once, but this just looks really small to me for our family of six, so I picked up two. Um, hopefully we'll eat it all and I won't waste that, but if, if this is too much, then I know for next time. Um, I picked up some flour tortillas. My son, actually, we all really love um, these tortillas. HEB makes them fresh in the store and they always have samples out. Um, my son is really in love with these. Like every time he goes to HEB, he asks me if we can check out the tortilla area. So I just picked up a little tin count of these. I'll probably stick them in the freezer, at least half of them, and then keep some of them. Maybe the kids will have quesadillas or something for lunch this week. I've got just a small head of broccoli here. Um, oh my gosh, I love mozzarella cheese. It's my absolute favorite. Um, really anything Italian. I love Italian food. So I picked up two packages of these for a salad recipe that we're going to have. Some granola cups. These. This is my daughter Rose's favorite snack. She's in love with these things. She always asks me to pick them up. So I got a little box of those. Then I got these Cliff Bars for my son. He used to take one of these to school every single day this past school year. And I haven't purchased them since and he asked me to pick some up. He said he missed them. So I picked up a pack, a pack of those for him. I've got some seafood stock right here. A thing of Crystal Light. I got the Fruit Punch. Then back here, this was another deal. Um, we don't have any fruit snacks on hand. The kids have been out of them for a while, so I went ahead and picked some more up. And I was just gonna get um, one box, but it was buy two, get one free. So I went ahead and got three of them. It's just the Mott's Medleys. I got one berry, and then I got two of the assorted fruit. Now, you guys, if you have an HEB, if you live near an HEB, you need to go pick these up. They are delicious. I have not tried this bag yet, but my mother picked them up as well, and we were at her house and I tried them, and they are so good. So they're Divine Flavor Organics, the organic cotton candy grapes. So good. They're green seedless grapes. Oh my, like, I'm gonna have to say it again. These are so good, so good. If you have an HEB, go pick some up. I got some spaghetti noodles, some Wacky Mac noodles, celery, parsley, Parmesan cheese. I've got three packages of beef flavor ramen noodle. This is actually for a salad. Two things of Gatorade. I got the lemon lime and the ice punch. Some tomato and basil spaghetti sauce, crescent rolls, bananas, hot dog buns, some mint and basil, a large thing of angel sweet tomatoes, a red onion, seven lemons, and some ginger. So again, that was $197 and some change at HEB. And now you get to see my kind of meal plan. This is how I planned it out. I didn't rewrite it. Normally I rewrite it for you guys, but this was as I was like looking on Pinterest and everything. So I just wanted to show you kind of like behind the scenes of how I initially write down everything that we're going to eat before I start making the grocery list. So I knew I wanted to do like summer inspired salads. So our dinners, we're gonna have sausage with a corn rice salad for dinner. We're gonna have fish with a pizza pasta salad. And I didn't wanna make like an extra veggie to go on the side, so I'm just gonna add that broccoli to the salad. So the raw broccoli is gonna go, this is a cold salad. Then we're gonna have butter chicken, naan, and salad. And this is just like a plain old salad. I'm gonna use the romaine hearts, some green onions. We have carrots already, some cucumber um, from our cucumber plant, maybe some celery, just a random thrown together salad from stuff. Then we're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs with a chopped caprese salad and breadsticks, and actually not breadsticks. We're gonna have this with that. And then this pork cutlet bowl is actually something that my daughter Paige is gonna make. And if you guys wanna see how that turns out, 
Um, I don't have the recipe, she has it. You can follow my vlog channel and she should be making this probably Thursday night. So it'll be posted on Friday. Um, and then with that, we're gonna have a crunchy ramen slaw. And then we're gonna have two days of leftovers because my kiddos are actually spending the weekend with their grandparents, my parents. So Mark and I um, only plan on eating out once because we have a lot to do in the house that we wanna get done. Um, so we are hoping to just eat on leftovers and stuff that's in the house. Normally we only have one leftover day and then like an eat out kind of day. Uh, but this time, hopefully, we're just going to eat on leftovers. Now, our lunches, I'm going to make egg salad and tuna salad for myself and Mark, depending on his work schedule. The kids, I'm going to make those corn dog nuggets that I shared a video on. Um, they're really not corn dog. They're pretty much pigs in a blanket, but that's just what the recipe was called when I found it. Homemade lunch bowls and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. For breakfast, it's going to be super simple this week. We have quite a few boxes of cereal and I really don't want to buy anything else for breakfast until that cereal is gone. Um, and then I always have stuff to make waffles and pancakes if the kids get tired of having cereal. So I, I stuck that on there. Then our snacks is going to be the yogurt and the granola cups. And then I did end up picking up the cliff bars and the fruit snacks. So that'll be an option for the kiddos as well as the fruit that we always have on hand. And then drinks, I have stuff to make lemonade, the Gatorade, and then the flavored water for Mark and I. So that's kind of my, how I went and made my grocery list when I was writing things down, what we were gonna eat. So if you guys love grocery hauls and salads, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I do post daily. If you missed yesterday's video, I'll have a link to that right here. And I will see you guys tomorrow with something new. Bye guys.